Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna cover the news that got released in game and yes, you guys can see right here there's a new story event meaning there's gonna be a new character coming out and the boy Axstar, we can see him right here. The boy Axstar is finally coming out so the story event Out for Vengeance will start this Friday, May 10th and uh, the event period goes all the way up to Friday, May 24th. So obviously with a story event, you guys are going to be able to farm those crisps uh, and also get some rewards. So let's see exactly what's the limited equipment rewards we can get in the story events. So we can get, we're can we going to be able to get a Lawless Blade, which is a katana, attack 71 and enables double trouble, which uh, basically whenever you do a normal attack, the character is going to hit twice. That's all it is. So even if your character is a true double hand, you slap that on. Uh, when you do just an auto attack, he's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's say how many hits he's doing. He's going to go back, then do a second attack. But uh, it's not going to work for your uh, your ability. So you're, you're not going to be able to double cast an ability just because of the weapon. All right, So it's just for normal attacks. Then we're going to get uh, the Jet Black Eye Patch, which is basically a hat. Uh, attack 18, HP 15%, and enables Crisis Evasion, which basically gives you a chance to evade physical attack. Uh, should be around 10%. This is really good. Alright, so uh, this is actually not bad. With the physical, physical evade, that's really, really nice. And uh, the HP is actually pretty good. So if you guys are newer players, these things can actually be really, really good for your characters. And yes, we can see right here, Gravy, Tomo, Majora and Axstar are going to be part of that story event. But let's go into the next one because we got a surprise. Yeah, so they basically decided to drop something on us. Uh, we're going to get Axstar. And also with Axstar, you're going to be able to summon for Xeno of the Beta Star. So uh, that's a, sadly enough, that's a huge spoiler alert for people who are not there yet. Uh, but yeah, you guys can see the hair. Uh, basically story, we're not gonna go into the story, but that's really cool. So this guy is a true double hand, true double hand, as I'm uh, mumbling my words. And this guy right here is a true dual wielder. Uh, they're gonna be basically able to chain with Divine Runation. They're able to chain with Absolute Mirror of Equity, uh, the Oral Ray family. And this guy is gonna be able to chain with uh, the new family from uh, Esther, which I completely forgot the name, uh, Sparks. Sparks Blitz, whatever. You know, you guys know the 9 hit move. So they're going to be able to chain together. Uh, so these are the two 5 stars on that banner. Uh, sucks a little bit because I wish it would have been one 5 star. But two 5 star are still pretty good since these characters are always going to be in the 7 pool. Uh, we got Tomo Gravy. Uh, actually, Gravy's TMR is really, really good. We're going to go over it in a couple of m seconds or minutes. Let's see how fast I can do this. So, step up number one, which is really good. Limited to one per player. 25,000 Lapis. Basically, on step one, uh, it's a 9 plus 2 with two gold guaranteed. Uh, step two, 9. 9 plus 2 again with two gold guaranteed. On step three, you guarantee the rainbow. Uh, step four, you're guaranteed a 9 plus 2 with that super 90% blue ticket. And on the last step, you're guaranteed Axe Star, which is really, really cool because on your way up there, guys, you can get a lot of Axe Stars. And the fact that you're guaranteed an Axe Star at the end, that's really, really cool. And it's an 8 plus 3. So that's really, really nice. Then the second step up, where you can do it four times per player, almost the same where it's a 24,000 Lapis uh, run. You get those tickets that whenever you get four of them, you get a 20% chance of getting one of those two characters. But it's a guaranteed rainbow. Alright, so step 1, 9 plus 2, you get 2 golds guaranteed. Step 2, 9 plus 2, 2 gold guaranteed. Uh, on step 3, you basically get 2 gold guaranteed and a rainbow, which you don't know which one it is. On step uh, 4, you get another 9 plus 2 with that super beautiful 90% blue ticket. And on step 3, you're guaranteed either one of uh, Xeno uh, or Axstar. Alright, so it's an 8 plus 3. Really, really cool. Uh, I love what they did with that step up. For me, that's really, really good. Expensive, but at least you're guaranteed one of the unit that you want. Sorry, my eyes are like super twitching and dry. Uh, which one am I going to go for? I actually have no idea. Since this one's a little bit cheaper, maybe this one. Because uh, those tickets are really, really nice here. And uh, yeah, maybe this one. Because uh, now I actually want to get my hands on Xeno. So uh, we're going to go over Axstar, which like I said, he's a true double end character. 
his super TMR is incredibly good, guys. It's a two-handed at, uh, attack katana. Attack 180. So that thing is really, really strong. Being a two-handed weapon means that your damage range is even higher. His trust master is actually really, really good also. Attack 40. It's an accessory, the rush gloves. Enable master of the single blade. Boost LB gauge fill rate and boost equipment attack when a single weapon is equipped in both ends. That's a 50% boost like the martial gloves. Uh, so that's really, really good, and it boosts your fill, uh, LB gauge fill rate, I think it's by 50%. Unless they decide to change it in the global, because now we have to be careful with what we say. Alright, so featured abilities, like I said, this guy's going to be able to do the true uh, Absolute Merit of Equity chain, Aureal Ray, and also Divine Ruination. Now, his Divine Ruination move is really cool. It's going to be able to imbue fire or ice on your attack, and it's an AoE chain, so that's really, really good. Uh, so right here you guys can see deal partial and mitigate damage to one enemy two times and boost damage of certain abilities absolute merit of equity deal partial and mitigate damage and uh, damage to one enemy and power up with consecutive uses so yes as you're using his moves uh, basically you increase the damage range so every time you use one of his move uh, let's say this one you double cast or you triple cast it while well, the first time you cast it versus the third time you cast it the third time is going to be dealing more and more damage so that's really really good because you're able to build up that damage real fast with him then perfect void every six turn boost own attack uh, boost damage of certain abilities and enables triple blade art for four turns so that this guy's going to eat a lot of mp i'm letting you guys know uh, i'm using him on the jp version this guy does use a lot of mp but he's a really really good unit and uh, I did some stuff where you're actually able to chain uh, his Divine Ruination move and, abs and Absolute Merit of Equity after. So basically you imbue the element on your attack, on your katana or whatever sword you're putting on him. And uh, then you're, a you're actually able to perfect chain. So you can go from Divine Ruination to Absolute Merit of Equity. If you have two units doing the same thing, you're going to be able to perfect chain and build up that chain. So that's really, really cool. Then Xeno of the Beta Star. Right here, also a super trust master, is crazy good. It's another katana, searing ember, attack 180, enables merciless katana, boost attack by 40%, and boost physical damage against humans by 75%. So this is no joke. This, this is what we call a super, super, super trust master. So that's really, really good. Uh, it's trust master is a obsidian elm basically defense 20 attack 42 flat enables mine ablaze boost mp by 20 percent and boost lbh fill rate so that's really really nice since most of these seven star units they eat their mp really really fast then it's featured abilities sorry about that perfect void boost own attack and damage of certain abilities uh obliterating mirror of equities war roar 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 deal partial and mitigated damage to one enemy Deal damage to all enemies and power up with consecutive uses. So almost like uh, uh, EO brought it to the global version, where his six first hits are a single target, and then the last, the last hit, bam, AOE. So this you're gonna be able to deal a lot of damage with this, and he has dual wield, prodigy boost equipment attack, increase equipment boost limit. And uh, increase damage limit for various chains when armed with two wanted weapons and boost attack by 30% when equipped with a can katana. So these two guys, they're amazing. The, the amount of damage you're going to be able to do with these two, uh, that's going to be pretty crazy. And I want to see the stuff on Xeno because uh, let's be honest, they brought out Esther, which is a power, power house. And uh, if this guy is able to come close to her or even beat her, that's going to be insane. So uh, these characters can't wait for the data mine. I don't care about what Gumi says or uh, Square that we shouldn't check those unofficial source. I'm going to check the wiki because these guys, I want to see the stats and the amount of damage they can do. Then we're going to get Tomo, which is a four star going to six star. Er, Trust Master is actually really cool. Lagoa, it's a two handed uh, weapon. It's a gun, attack 130. So that's really, really cool. Then this guy is the bread and butter of this banner. Uh, his trust master is really really good guys, so it's basically uh, like uh, Chisuru, but better boost attack by 50% when equipped with a katana and boost to and, uh, and a 20% boost to attack when equipped with clothes. So right here, you're able to get a 70% boost to your attack when equipped with a katana. That's insane if your character has clothes on. Uh, that's really really good. 
So this is really, really good. And a Majora, uh, where's your mask? I have no idea where's your mask, but it doesn't matter. You're in the wrong game. Uh, Trust Master Reward, Accessory, Defense, plus 3, Spirit, plus 3, HP and MP, plus 20%. And enables Auto Refresh, uh, basically restores MP, everything. <coughs> Sorry about that, I'm talking way too fast. So that's really, really cool. Uh, like I said, I don't know which step I'm going to do. I uh, might go for this one. It's a little bit cheaper. And uh, the fact that I can get maybe both, that's insanely cool. Then, unit intro quest, so don't forget to do this. Because you are going to be getting two rare summon tickets. And maybe that two, one of those two rare summon tickets will give you the boy Axstar or Xeno. We're also getting a free 10 plus 1, uh, which is amazing. Thank you, Gumi, for this. And thank you, Square Enix. So basically, this you'll be able to do. Players can perform a free 10 plus 1 available only once per player during the 7th period. So Friday you guys will be able to do this and maybe get your hands on on one of these two. Hopefully you guys can get these two. And maybe somebody out there will get 11 rainbows. I doubt it, but you never know because uh, Lady Luck can be on your way. Then, Final Fantasy 4 event keeps going. So the Dwarven Castle. You'll be able to fight Goldbass and the Shadow Dragon. So let's see what Mini Koopo has to say. Prepare countermeasures for paralysis and instant KO Koopo. Boost your parties. Fire, Ice, Lightning and Dark Resistance Koopo. And beware of Goldbass Resistance Boost Koopo. Uh, I remember this fight long ago. I think I still have the fight on my channel. Where uh, actually Snow was the MVP for me in this fight. So uh, I don't know if they made it harder or it's the same thing. But let's check the rewards right here. You guys are going to be able to get a 5% Moogle. Uh, also complete the quest. You get this Shadow Dragon scale. Which I'm not mistaken is magic plus 30 flat stat. Uh, you'll use no more than 3 items. You get 10,000 magma rock fragment. Defeat Golbez with magic. Lightning resist plus 20%. These things are really guys good. So don't don't sleep on them. These, these are really really good for your unit sometimes. And defeat the Shadow Dragon with a Nesper, you get another 5% Moogle. Then we're going to keep going. We have the Mayflowers login bonus round 1. So you guys can see right here, I'm going to leave it. Uh, the bonus we're going to be able to get for day 1, day 2, day 3, day 4, day 5, day 6. Then we have round 2. Yes, round 2 indeed. Uh, basically it's the same thing, you guys are going to be able to give us, uh, they're going to be able to give us a little bit more in game. Then we're going to move on to this one. We get the free daily summons uh starting on saturday may 11th uh all the way up to tuesday you guys will be able to do a uh, free daily summons so it's always from the saturday to the tuesday i don't know why they change it so they don't do a full uh during the week but hopefully that's gonna be something that's gonna be there every weekend that, that would be really really cool if they would do this so uh free dailies which is really nice all the time so yes we want free dailies and free summons more often then the last one Vault of the Hidden Treasures, we're gonna finish with this, so the campaign starts uh, on Saturday, May 11th, all the way up to Tuesday, uh, May 14th, and it's gonna be a little bit like they did with uh, this one right here, where it's gonna be on the weekend, all the way up to Tuesday. Then one more thing, on their uh, video, they on the, the YouTube video of uh, FFB, they spoke about the Ability Awakenings, so we should be getting Ability Awakenings for Sephiroth. I can't wait for that because Sephiroth, guys, uh, when you awaken his abilities, if it's like in the JP version, he's going to be able to become a true double hand and he's going to have a dual cast abilities and uh, ability, sorry, and uh, he is one strong unit. So if you guys are lacking strong damage dealers on the 7 star meta and you have Sephiroth, guess what? Make sure you awaken that one winged angel because he's a beast on that note guys let me know down below if you are excited about axar or you're gonna skip on him uh with the release of xeno is it xeno or beta i feel like i'm saying the wrong name xeno all right xeno instead of xeno xeno if you guys are excited with xeno and axar i think i am a little bit more excited since there's a new unit on this banner but uh, yeah, I'm going to be polling on Friday, so you guys make sure you watch this. And uh, let me know down below if you are guys if you guys are going to be polling. Also, guys, on this note, please leave a like down below, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace!